Hey, I'm Dr. Morgan. So I did a Google search for chronic knee pain treatment. And Google's always going to give the number one answer is going to come from the large medical institutions because they have the most expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. And so we kind of get an idea of the standard of care in medicine. So the first thing they talk about is medication to relieve pain. Well, if you have a chronic problem, you don't want to just be focused on pain relief. You want to find out why you have that problem and also why your body's not getting better. Like it should get better on its own and that's what needs to be discovered. Then they talk about medications to treat underlying causes. Well, that sounds good. And they say such as rheumatoid arthritis and gout. So rheumatoid arthritis or RA, that's an autoimmune condition. And if you look up their treatments, they really don't get into what to do about the immune system. And same thing with gout. Oftentimes it's related with blood sugar. That's not mentioned. So there's still symptom based here. Even they talk about underlying causes. Um, then we get into strengthening muscles around the knee. Yes, if you want to do the most basic thing you could possibly do for your chronic knee problem, you could strengthen the muscles around the knee. Probably not going to get very far. Uh, much better physical therapist to correct movement patterns. Kind of get everything working together. The only problem with this is if you don't take in consideration some of the things we're going to talk about in a minute, you're going to be on this never-ending search of finding just the perfect combinations of exercises and you might not ever get resolution like you need. Then they talk about arch supports. Again, just propping something up, not really fixing a problem. Um, braces, maybe use those a little bit if you've just gotten injured. Then we get into the injections. Corticosteroids, well, there's lots of side effects. You should make your own cortisone and control your own inflammation. Hyaluronic acid, we should make our own. Platelet-rich plasma injections. Again, these are all just short-term band-aids that don't really get to the root of the problem. Then we get on down to surgery. Now, this is something obviously I'm not going to do. If someone gets to that point, then medicine's the place to be for that. But hopefully, if you like and share this video, um, people will take some of these treatments and never need the surgery. They talk about at-home treatments, NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, Tylenol, aspirin, and acetaminophen. They really all work the same. Uh, they're just going to cover up the pain, but as you'll see in a minute, they're going to cause some other problems. And then the old acute injury rides rest, ice, compression, elevation. If you put ice on something, it's just going to constrict everything. Your lymphatic system can't work. You can't get in all the healing things that need to happen. Even the person that came up with the RICE acronym no longer recommends it. And then they finally, they do talk about some acupuncture but they say for pain relief. There's more to acupuncture than just that. Um, but again, their whole model is based on symptoms. We want to quit thinking about symptoms and we want to start thinking about systems. And that's what we do with applied kinesiology, or AK. We are focused on finding root causes. We want to think about function first. And so when I say function, I'm talking about muscle function. So we don't want to just strengthen the muscles around the knee. We want to make sure all the muscles are turning on and turning off. So muscles can be strong and weak, but they can also be facilitated or inhibited. And lots of times in a chronic problem, there's lots of inhibited muscles around the knee. These come from injuries, either present trauma or something that happened in your past and the way your body's compensated for that, repetitive motion exercises or repetitive motion movements. Um, you get these little injuries in the muscles and then the muscles create these myofascial restrictions and they can no longer perform the way they're supposed to when you ask them to. So we have to correct all these things first and not only in the knee, but the hip, the foot, the opposite limb, the whole gait pattern needs corrected. So we go through every muscle in all these areas. Then after you get that fixed, you do the physical therapy to correct movement patterns. I personally like original strength, strength exercises for that. Uh, instead of arch support, again, we're going to fix the feet. And then we might you know, recommend going barefoot as much as you can, especially around the house, uh, to get your foot working the way it was designed to work. It's not meant to be stuck in something all day. Um, 
corticosteroids, well, cortisol comes from the adrenal glands. If you have properly functioning adrenal glands, you can handle inflammation a whole lot better. And then there's this whole joint chemistry issue. So you may have heard of glucosamine sulfate, chondroitin sulfate. We should make those things on our own. Um, ligaments oftentimes need manganese to help them heal. But back to the glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate. So the sulfate piece of it is actually what you need to detoxify NSAIDs. So if you take a bunch of NSAIDs, you're going to deplete your sulfate levels and you're going to have problems making joint tissue. If you take NSAIDs, NSAIDs and you feel better, it basically means you have a fat metabolism problem. You need more grass-fed beef, farm fresh eggs, heavy whipping cream, uh, fish, nuts, seeds, all the things that are going to help you produce your own anti-inflammatory hormones. And it'll be like you're taking them all the time, but you won't have to take them. Um, and then after we've done all this, if we're still having trouble, we might use some active pressure techniques to just calm down those pain pathways that are so used to overfiring. Um, but if we take this systems approach, we're going to get so much further than this symptom approach. And we're going to be able to not just relieve the pain of a chronic knee problem, but resolve a chronic knee problem. Thanks.